Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Today I am going to show you how to make a quick card. For my previous tutorial, that was a little, little too long. All the tutorials are over 30 40 minutes. So today I think probably we're going to be working on a short project. Short but good. That's started. Okay, so material is uh, pretty simple. Just uh, we got to have a stays on to any um, ink pack you like. I just chose two color that pretty close to the draft color, but uh, you choose any color you like. And uh, I, am, I, I, I have a one stencil and uh, check my other tutorial. I have a lot of tutorial to show you how to use this stencil. And uh, I have a one a vellum envelope and then in this tutorial I'm actually going to decorate my um, envelope and think it's going to be very interesting when you just mail just like that and uh, I am going to use a you look at me stamp set and a matching die cut and uh, but we're going to do something different so that's pretty much about uh, the material this is actually pretty simple and I'm going to use the magic mushroom like I say you can use any blending tool that you have at home so for the preparation I just uh, use uh, the die cut Cut the two uh, two sheets of a regular cardstock. You don't want it too um too thick. Want a thin one. And then these two is uh, I'm actually going to use them as a masking. And I'm going to show you how. And uh, I have a piece of acetate. And also in my other tutorial, I was showing how to use the uh, acetate as uh, your masking. And uh, is uh, is a great idea that when you want to do the blending, working on the uh, large area, because acetate is seeing true, so you can help you do the blend. Thing. So that's pretty much about uh, our material. That's it. So have you got a chance to see my last tutorial? The, my glassy eyeball library <laughs> and I was going to show you I was playing with the, the eyeballs and you got to take a look that was a tutorial 140, 141 and I was showing you how you can create uh, 50 plus different um, eyeballs with uh, new new wood those kind of drop and then I just get idea I was working on the nose but it didn't really work well my nose crack so like I say this kind of technique you cannot make it too thick because when you too, uh, make it too thick they actually crack so the nose looks not bad it look like a carrot so I just want to show you the result and um, I forgot to show you my top hole Okay, so that's the start today. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be short one, and you're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, so first we're going to working on the envelope. That was the first uh, card I made, and after you put it inside, you kind of can see it through. So the postman, uh, postman can get a little peek what's inside, right? They have been working so hard during this pandemic, so I, I thought I just want to make a little bit fun for them. So, but after I make this envelope, I say, yeah, right, where I'm going to put the address. So this is the way you can do, you can put a, like a shipping la label to put a, like a sticker label on top, and then you can put your address on top. So, and I thought, okay, so the next car, when I stamp it, I'm going to leave the room for my address here and here. So you just think about the, how, how you're going to do it. They all work just fine. So I am going to use this set. And also please check my other tutorial. I've been using this set too many times to create too many uh, projects. You got to check the local King uh, the online DVD library. There is a hundred plus tutorial ready view, to view. So I am going to just, I already did the awesome stretch and the draft and I'm going to use that camel. It's just a funny looking um, character. So um, why I'm working, I'd like to ask you what do you do with all the cards you, you make? Do you mail it or do you give it to your friend? I really hope that you use uh, your stamp, make a card and give it to your friend. And then um, I actually know a person, she loves stamping and then she create all the cards. But she never give her card to anybody and I say, what did you do with your card? And she said, I, I shade it. What? You can donate it, right? Why why you shoot it? So if you have no place to give your car, please send it to me. I will be very appreciative and I'm gonna enjoy it. So okay, 
First, this is a, a vellum. If you don't have a vellum, you can use just a regular car, a uh, regular envelope. They will do too. But if you want to stamp it on the vellum, make sure you got to use a stay on because uh, otherwise the regular ink pad they don't really um they don't really stick uh, uh, stay on vellum. You can, but the color is not as bright as on the stay on. And also because I am planning to send the list uh, just as is. So the stays on can prevent uh, that people touch it and then um, um, smear, smudge uh, your image. Okay, so I use the stays on and also always remember stays on after you use a while, you got to clean the surface because they keep deposit. And then you can play with a, um, a little bit your um, image any way you like, but make sure you give a nice image. I love animal. And then when I was in the art, um, art school, you know my favorite media is actually pencil. I just love the pencil. Um, just with one pencil, you can build up all the different tones. But uh, after I start to design my own stamp, you know, when you create, uh, create a stamp, you cannot uh, create a gray area. There's only black and the white. But if you take a look at local King Robert Stamps uh, stamp image, you see that gray area. That gray area is all built out with a line. So they are just a black and white um, lines, but uh, I use the, you know, the way, the way I draw in all my image, I create a gray area. It's not just like a um, outline, they also have a shading. That's why they make this image is a totally different. I love cute stuff, but the cute stuff and childish, they are different. I love a cute animal. They are all just fun. Um, so that's what's different between local kings and stamps. So next time you take a good look, um, take a look at your artist DMC. Do they have a, a gray, uh, gray area? So that's my camel, and I think that's a pretty cute. And this one is the peeping, peeping tongue. Why they call peeping tongue tongue? Why they don't call peeping John? They must have a story behind, right? If you know the story, leave me a comment. I like to learn. I like to know. So if you know, like to know anything about Chinese culture, leave me a comment and I can help you with that. So why they call Peeping Tom Tong? They don't call John. You don't call Peeping Jack, right? It's not interesting. Okay, so that's my envelope. Or if you want to, you know what? Just try to have fun. Right? Isn't that cute? Okay, and then we're going to move to the next step. Okay, so I just uh, use uh, this uh, Cougar cardstock. You can use the regular cardstock. They will work just fine because today we are most likely we are working um, with the stays on only. So I just uh, um, masking the corner, make sure they don't move. And then when I was working on today's project, I was trying to use Lisa Acetate to, um, to create the block, I mean the masking, but I found out that was a bad idea because Lisa Acetate have some kind of thickness. I think it's a fine mil. So when I use that one and then to, to kind of masking my take, uh, paper, and then my image didn't get a clear image. So I think that's not good. So I actually use the uh, regular cards that, and then you decide. Don't put your uh, masking right in the middle. Try to make a little bit of balance. So that's uh, um, that way make your um, car more interesting. So that's the trick. You can try, you know, if you want to do, like I say, I never tell you what to do. I'm just give you suggestion, not I'm not, not give, that's rude, you just uh, provide some suggestion. Okay, so I just uh, put a, a piece of scrap paper here and I'm going to just ink my image. So for the stay zone, you know, if you haven't followed my tutorial, rub, rub, tap, tap. Rock, rock, tap, tap. That's your daily exercise. Okay, so, and then we can kind of just, if you're not sure, you can just stamp one and kind of see what kind of, um, you know, position you want. So I'm going to this one. Well, why not? I see. 
Okay, give a nice firm press. Okay, that's good. And uh, again, you do have to ink your stamp every time after you stamped it. That's how you get the best uh, image. So you can have a two, you can have a three. I think uh, two is good enough. Okay, and then I am going to just take this one away. Okay, stay on is a much better, not much better, it's dry a little bit faster than the Versa, Versa Fine. So when now I'm going to work on the stencil part. So I put, if you have those kind of mat, it's great because on the mat it is a girl, a good, not well, girl, 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 G R I D grid. So you can actually helping you to put your car straight. So <laughs> I, when I was teaching, they, she, they, 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 it was one student. She said, I want to go to art school. I said, okay. So I was showing her how she have to prepare something and I was asking her to draw in something. I give her a ruler and then I asked her to draw a line with a ruler. And then she can't draw a straight line. I say, are you sure you want to go to art school? And then she made it. She actually graduated from the Emily Carr University. But I don't know what she's doing now. Have have a lost. I think she become a YouTuber. She is in the entertainment um, entertainment department. Okay, so now we're going to use the the stencil. Um, I have a lot of nice uh, tutorial for the stencil. So you just and then you say, oop, your stencil is short, too short. It's not the long enough. What are we going to do? We're going to fix that. So let's just make sure. We secure this, okay? And then I'm going to use uh, my favorite ink pad, Mr. Linden Frog. Okay, so I used two color. Um, that was for draft color, but I think it will work just right. So I just use two color. I want to keep it simple. I don't want to make it too long. So just give it tap, 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 some here. And uh, with the magic mushroom, you can actually blend it. Oh, here is the other great uh, tip from the customer is Nancy. I saw Nancy put the uh, dots on top of uh, this uh, magic mushroom, which is great because uh, those uh, magic mushroom, if you don't have a holding base, you can just uh, put the uh, uh, dots on top and they help you to identify. But uh, because I have a holding uh, holding base, I always put on top. And but sometimes I just leave on the table and uh, I can easily see, oh, that's yellow. But you can still see the color here. Or you can put uh, like a color tape around the the, the holding area. Okay, so I just do a little bit um, uh, yellow. This one is a peak peanut brittle. Okay, and then my Mr. London Frog. If you want to know how did I get a Mr. London Frog name, you got to watch the tutorial. It's hilarious. Okay, so I kind of just rub, rub, tap, tap whatever you like. If you have a um, set of a magic mushroom, please help me to leave the review because uh, the, the show has been postponed. Um, all, the, all of the show has been postponed. Then, so people they don't have a chance to give a try. So if you own a set of uh, magic mushroom, please help me to leave the review. And if you think they are good, if, they are, uh, if you're not happy, leave me a review too. Okay. So, um, this, uh, because of my stencil is uh, smaller, right? So you can just go find the same spot and then put it back. Okay. And uh, just be careful, you don't want to move it. Oop, this is, uh, I used the wrong mushroom. No, what? no matter, no, no, no wonder how come I don't get a Mr. London Frog color. There you go. Mr. London Frog color is supposed to be kind of grayish. Okay. So, oops. Oh, see, whoops happened again. That's okay. I also have the other tutorial try to bl uh, blending some color between those the white gap. See how pretty it is. And then I'm going to put all my tool back and I'm going to move to the next. 
And then before do that, I always clean my stands off. Okay, so that way um, they are ready to be used next time. And also my table. And they're very important on your acetate because you don't want to have a dirty acetate. Next time you're working on the project, you didn't clean it and you're blending it. Perfect way to ruin your artwork. If you don't believe me, give it a try and then you will see. Okay, so now what you can do is you can just draw a line. Um, let me just use my ink pad if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to just draw a line. That's what it looks like. I think that's really pretty. Okay, this was a huh. Okay, and then for the coloring, coloring is uh, is easy. But before we do that, uh, remember in the beginning of the tutorial, I asked you to cut two of these, right? So what is this? This is our masking. I am going to ask you to actually, um, we can color these first, and then we are going to do the to do the masking and today is uh, the lazy way to coloring so I am going to just use one of my dabber just give a little bit touch on, on his nose he catch cold okay so give it a little bit um, color on the nose and then I am going to just use the markers to color it. I'm going to just fast forward it so that way we don't waste the time for the coloring part. How's that? Okay, so I finished color. Take me 10 seconds. Okay, and then now I'm going to use this piece. Okay, create some kind of masking. And then you can save that one for later too. So I created two because I don't want to accidentally um, ruining this one, right? And then I am going to use uh, the magic mushroom. I am going to just use the same color because I want to keep this one simple. So I just clean my magic mushroom and uh, okay. Kind of just, um, you know, dry with the uh, uh, napkin. Ooh, this is something easy. Almost ruined the artwork. Okay, so what I am going to do, actually I have to protect my, my, um, the stencil area. So if you have a acetate, you use your acetate. If you don't have an acetate, you just use a piece of paper. See, I always, uh, make a boo-boo even though I like a boo-boo I love a boo-boo I actually named my um, my dog a boo-boo but a boo-boo died a few years ago so now I'm not traveling you know what maybe I can go um, adopt a dog soon you know what that's my dream I'm dreaming about dog every day okay so I'm going to just use at least uh, pina whatever gently tapping okay gently we don't want it too heavy we want a very soft touch okay if it's not enough go back get a little bit more once when you try a magic mushroom you will fall in love with it because it's so soft Okay, that's good, and I'm going to I'm going to just add a little bit more. So go, just uh, kind of create. Okay, and then again, clean the acetate because you don't know when you're going to need it again, right? And then I use actually larger size car. And I, I'm going to just uh, stamping what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. And then if you watch the eyeball library, if you want to put the eyeball, I was the, I have one eye here. I think that's cute, huh? You do whatever you like. If you want to add the 
eyeballs on top. Maybe I'm going to do it. So just do what's up. And then I use the local King's Corner Punch to, not Corner Punch, Corner Die Cut. And then that's a beautiful card. So let me finish that one. Okay, so I just fast forward because I don't want to um, show you the same thing repeat after each other. And then if you haven't got a chance to watch my last tutorial 141, how to create the, the light, uh, eyeballs light library, you get to make sure to watch that one. That's how um, I create all those funky eyeballs and it's just so cute and uh, if you like it, you can just uh, create a bunch of them and then um, put the uh, glue dot in the back and then you give them that very interesting character. So just glue that and do this and then um, oh, I lost my ball. Sorry, there you go. So and then you just uh, put on top. Isn't that cute? And then again, we can put uh, these uh, what's up. Why they say what's up? Why they don't say what's down? Something happened downstairs too. So, give a nice firm press. How do you think? With eyeball or without eyeball? They all looks good. So, let me bring all the three projects and that's all done with uh, the same set and look at these camel's eyes so cute okay so why not just something interesting right and then look the beautiful envelope to go with it and I think your postman probably going to the card that you are sending to your friend. So, with eyeball or without eyeball, which one you like, I love them all. So, that's today's tutorial. I hope you like it. If you like it, give me a thumb up. If you don't like it, don't give me a finger. So I'm working on other tutorial they are coming soon. And uh, if you don't want to miss the tutorial, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and let me know what you think and give me a thumb up. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's pretty much about it. Oh yeah, so don't forget, if you know why they call Peeping Tongue, tell me why is the guy's name? Peeping John, Peeping Jack, I think the woman peep too, right? So why they don't call peeping Susan, peeping Lisa? Well, if you know the answer, let me know. So this is Lisa from Local King Robert Stamp. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.